Let's say you're a lion. Here you are in your home in Africa, going on a hunt. You are magnificently equipped for your life as a predator. You've got long canine teeth, huge claws, a powerful stride, amazing agility, plus the sense you're using here, an acute sense of hearing. As a lion, you're a social animal. You hunt with your pride. About the only flaw in your hunting is stamina. You have great acceleration, but you can't hunt your prey for long distances. That's why you're doing what you're doing here. Listening, stalking, trying to get close. The grasslands and brush around you give you excellent cover. However, most of the time, your prey picks up your scent and the hunt fails. You move on. And sometimes, the pride hits pay dirt, bringing down a wildebeest. Here's where cooperation and competition intermingle. Once the wildebeest is stricken, you and the entire pride pile on. Every lion helps in the kill, but you compete with every lion for a share of the meat. For a lion cub, this is a crucial test. If the cub can't feed itself, it'll starve. It must get its share. Right here is when the abdomen of the wildebeest is torn open. The choicest portions are now available, and competition is at its most fierce. The getting is good. And you fight for your fair share. By the end of the meal, you're injured along with most of the pride. You don't really notice. You know, a full stomach does that. You back off, letting the younger cubs get access to the carcass. Now you and the rest of the pride groom one another. Whatever bonds were bruised over the feed are fixed up here as you, well, lick and make up. 